Hello and welcome to the introduction to optimization exercise class one. In this class our learning objectives are to learn to formulate and solve optimization problems in Excel and Julia. In our first demo problem we are given the following linear optimization problem which we must solve using Excel and Julia. We can solve linear optimization problems in Julia using the jump modeling language here and the CBC solver. We can model optimization problems in jump by initiating the model structure. We bind it to variable D1. Then we will use the variable macro with this model and the expression that defines the variables as seen here. And we will use the constraint macro also with the D1 model and this expression to define the constraint. We'll do the same for the constraint 2 as seen in this line. Finally we'll use the objective macro to define the maximization objective for this expression as seen in this line. Let's execute the model code to build the model and move on to the optimizer. In order to optimize the D1 model we must define the optimizer using the optimizer with attributes function with the CBC optimizer and then using the set optimizer function for the D1 model with this optimizer. Let's execute this code and now optimize the D1 model with the optimize function. Finally we can extract the optimized values for the variables x using the value with the vectorized dot syntax and then printing the optimized values. The reason we will have to use the vectorized value function is because the variable x is actually an array of elements or these variable refs. And here we will see the optimal values and the optimal objective value. Next we'll cover how to formulate this optimization problem in spreadsheets I'm going to be using the LibreOffice Calc instead of Excel because I'm using Ubuntu. Um, so let's see here is the objective function. We can check this cell and it is formulated as three times this cell plus this cell same as this objective function and then we have our constraints like here and this expression. Let's navigate to the tools and select the solver. Target cell will be our objective function. We maximize changing cells, select these cells, then the constraints like so, this one and let's press solve and we get the same results as we did in Julia.